623 now on your Saturday. It took our auto expert Nick Miles 24 hours of travel to get to Australia so he could be one of the first in the world to drive the Hyundai venue. Yeah, twist my arm. Strangely enough, it didn't take much convincing to get him to go down under. Here's a look at the new Hyundai venue. Well, thanks, guys. We're in Queensland in Australia to test drive this, the brand new Hyundai venue. Now, it comes to market at the end of 2019 in the United States. Hyundai say it's an alternative to buying a used car and the proof that an entry-level SUV doesn't have to be boring. Why Australia to drive the new venue? Because it's already on sale in Australia. Vehicle buyers favor SUVs, but they're out of reach of many of them, with prices starting in the mid $20,000 range and going up to well over $80,000. Hyundai is offering an alternative to a used SUV in the new venue, with style, affordability, safety, and versatility. The exterior design of the new venue is very masculine, which many of the vehicles in this class don't have that particular masculine look. Cascading front grille, indicators up top, cube-shaped headlights here, a functional aero dam, and the possibility of getting a two-toned color option. It's not just good looks on the outside. The inside acts a pretty amazing punch, too. On the inside, a nicely put together interior for this vehicle. Doesn't matter what trim level you get, you'll get an 8 inch touch screen here Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Hyundai's Blue Link. And if you're into this acid yellow, you'll see lots of different acid yellow accents on some of these knobs. Unfortunately, we won't get this color in the United States. The Hyundai Venue directly competes with the Honda HRV and the Nissan Kicks, and it holds its own very well. Along with the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, the venue comes with Hyundai's reputation for reliability and safety. Hyundai have packed the new venue with as much content as the price allows. They've also fitted it with the right engine and powertrain, which many of the competition has failed to do. The only criticism I managed to find was there is quite a bit of wind noise when traveling at speed, but everything else is what I expected, or more than I expected in the class. The vehicle comes out of the gate with some major advantages over the competition. Style, a standard large screen on the inside, the option of a manual, the warranty and the safety which tends to be overlooked at this price point, and I think Hyundai will sell as many of these as they can possibly make. Now we don't know the price of the brand new Hyundai venue, but we do know it'll get a fuel economy of a combined 32 miles a gallon. In Australia for Fox 59, I'm Nick Miles. Well, a major project.